Alright, welcome back everyone. It's No High here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 video. And in this one, I'll be talking about Gearbox and how they are doing such a good job with Borderlands 3 at the moment. Uh, if you guys don't know, today we had the big patch go live. It was a ton of changes they made. And they also added the new little mini DLC, the uh, little Malawan takedown or whatever. So, I'm actually showing gameplay of that, but it's not really much of gameplay because I, I just wanted to kind of try it out and see what it was like. I heard you kind of needed four players or multiple players for this, and I can definitely tell. So, unless you come in here with the right build, which apparently mine is not because everything was just sponging bullets for me. I was on Mayhem 4, and it was just sponging bullets. So I'm going to need to change up my build if I want to try this solo, but I'm probably going to end up trying to find some people and try to run this Battle 1 takedown a couple of times and see what exactly we get and everything. Because I can definitely tell that we're probably I'm probably going to need to get four people or try to find some way to fix my build to make it where I can actually try, at, at least try and get a little bit more progress soloing this thing. I do want to try to do it that way as well. But now to get into the video, I'm not going to go over all the patch notes like in depth, in depth, but I just want to talk about how mainly how Gearbox is doing such a great job at the moment. They, they come out with this patch and it adds a bunch of stuff that we've been wanting and it's very important for like game developers like this to, you know, listen to community feedback and really like change their game and fix stuff that needs to be fixed and everything. And Gearbox is doing an amazing job at that right now. Ever since this game came out, any complaint that anybody's had pretty much and stuff that needs to be fixed got fixed really quickly. And they did a really good job with it. And with this patch, it's no different. Uh, this patch added in the dedicated uh, uh, weapon drops for bosses. Now, that is one thing I want to talk about real quick as well. I'm probably not going to be uploading a video to uh, tomorrow, which will be Saturday. I won't be. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff to do, but the main reason I won't be doing that is because we need to find. It would be a guide. I would have guides ready to go to upload, but I don't want to continue my guides until we find out these dedicated loot drops, because I have made videos about weapons that are world drops only, and I I don't know if I'm gonna like re-upload them or I don't know if I'm gonna make one video just talking going over all of them maybe. And like telling everybody, you know, these are the ones I've already made and just kind of fix them that way. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about it yet, but I'm going to have to figure out something with that. And I'm also going to have to figure out some weapons we haven't made guides on yet, where exactly they drop from, so I can actually go uh, make the, you know, guides accurate. But with that out of the way, they made that a thing in the game now, and that is great. I'm, I'm going to be able to actually go farm a better Nighthawk and once I find out where it actually drops from. And that's, uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping the Nighthawk going to be one that has a dedicated drop. And if it does, that's going to be amazing. It's going to make it a lot easier to farm one. So maybe I can get a better one than the one I have. They also did a bunch of bug fixes. They fixed some of the, like, uh, menu lag and stuff. Like on console, at least. I don't know about on PC, but on console. The menu would lag a little bit whenever you would be switching between your skill trees and stuff whenever you first pull up the menu. It's still there a little bit, but they fit they they fixed it for the most part. Like it's it's a lot more smooth now and everything like that. Like I said, they fixed a lot of a lot of bugs. Also some other big things. They added they they made the bank expanded again. They expanded the bank again. And now you can have up to 300 total bank spaces, which is huge. That's another thing a lot of people were wanting that everybody in the community was wanting. And now you have a 300 bank space, which is a ton of space to store weapons. That is really good. They also, like I said, uh, dedicated loot pools for bosses. And then they added Mayhem 4. And now the Mayhem mode it gives you one buff to the player and then one buff to the enemy which is really good no like debuffs or anything like that uh, none of that annoying stuff now the other three mayhem modes are unchanged they're exactly the same like they were but mayhem 4 does the one buff 
for the player, one buff for the enemy, which is really cool. They also added additional vending machines at a bunch of locations. That's another thing people were wanting. Uh, they added a target dummy. They balanced some in-game characters and stuff like that. Like I already said, stability, UI, everything like that. And overall, this this uh, patch was just huge. And I just want to congratulate Gearbox for listening to the community and doing whatever they can to make this game as good as it possibly be because I want this game to be amazing. And so far for me, even before this patch, this game has been amazing for me. I've been enjoying pretty much every second of it. And now with this patch, it's going to make farming so much more easier. There's not a ton of world drop legendaries. There's going to be a bunch of, there's going to be easier ways to farm them and get the loot that you want and stuff like that. So like I said, we're, we're just congratulating Gearbox here because they're actually listening to the community. They're actually fixing their game they're, uh, and uh, making improvements, quality of life improvements and everything like that that everybody wants and everybody's been requesting. They're listening to the community and making their game kind of like how we want it. And it's something that a lot of other game developers need to take note of and they need to kind of focus on a lot more kind of like what they're doing. And I hope this continues through the future of Borderlands here. We we just got the new, like I said, little free expansion, the Malawan Takedown. We have a big DLC coming out here soon. We just got, I think we just got a trailer for it a couple days ago and stuff like that. This game is, uh, this game is shaping up to uh, possibly take over Borderlands 2 as my favorite Borderlands game. If they keep improving the game like they're doing and they keep fixing it, if there's any problems that come up. And, and definitely the dedicated loot pools for bosses really helps out this game a ton. It makes it a lot more, like I said, easier to get the loot you want. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to farm my Nighthawk and, and get a new one of those, a better one than the one I have. I think mine right now is a little bit underpowered and I need to get a new one uh, with like some better rolls and stuff. And I'm definitely going to be able to do that once I actually find out where the weapon drops. But yeah, uh, like I said, no video tomorrow and Saturday. I'm going to be trying to plan out and try to find out where these guns and stuff have their like dedicated drops so I can actually make my guides accurate and stuff like that but I'll probably make another video on Sunday that'll probably be my next upload I hate missing a day I've been trying to upload every single day some days I miss it because I'm just really busy but if I'm not if I'm not busy I'm trying to upload every single day I'm just having to miss Saturday because one I'm busy and two I need to make guides and we just need to find out where the weapons drop first before I can make the guide. But yeah, that's all I have in this video guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.